The United States is the strongest country in the world and has been for a long time. Following its founding in 1776, the U.S. grew to dominate the world economically, militarily, and culturally. By the 19th century, America was fast becoming a major world power. However, when European countries began to colonize Africa in the 1800s, America didn't. But why not? If the U.S. was already such a powerful country, why didn't America colonize Africa like the Europeans did? There's actually a range of reasons why America didn't colonize Africa, let me explain. Welcome back to Just Know It 254, before we continue, please subscribe to this channel. I promise to give the best videos and I will make them so interesting for you to watch and learn, please subscribe. Thank you all who have done that, let's dive right in. Number 1, America's Anti-Colonialist History A first reason why the United States didn't colonize Africa was because of America's long-held anti-colonial beliefs. The United States was founded by breaking away from an empire, the British. The foundational beliefs of America were anti-colonial. In the second half of the 19th century, when Africa was being fully colonized, both the U.S. government and public opinion was against America having overseas territories. The feeling that America should be a new kind of country, opposing the old European empires and striving for a world of independent sovereign nations, was strongly held in the U.S. This is a major reason why the U.S. didn't colonize Africa when other European countries did. For much of the 19th and 20th centuries, America was generally opposed to imperialism. This is mainly because of the country's founding and the core ideals the United States strived for. When African colonization began in earnest from the 1880s, America did not believe it was right to form an empire. This is why there were no U.S. colonies in Africa. 2. The U.S. didn't need Africa's natural resources. The objective of empire is essentially to obtain resources at below market price. If countries wanted to buy resources, they could, without having to take over any territory. Colonizing a land allows a country to extract the resources without having to compete with other countries. It also ensures a country has a steady supply and control of the resources its economy needs. The United States is incredibly rich in natural resources. Coal, copper, iron, natural gas, oil, uranium lead and timber are just some of the resources found in abundance within America. The U.S. didn't colonize Africa for the simple reason that the U.S. economy didn't need the resources there. European countries, in contrast, generally lacked natural resources and so were driven to conquer and exploit Africa. As Western economies industrialized throughout the 19th century, their need for natural resources grew enormously. This led to many countries colonizing lands that would allow them to control the resources they needed. America is rich in natural resources and was able to provide what the U.S. economy needed. 3. America focused on westward expansion. A third reason why the U.S. didn't have colonies in Africa is because of the American focus on expanding into territories in the west of the continental U.S. The 19th century saw the United States expanded enormously. In 1800, the U.S. was predominantly located on the eastern coast of the North American continent. By 1900, the United States had expanded all the way to the Pacific coast, with major population centers in California and Oregon. The expansion of European colonies in Africa took place between 1800 and 1905. During this time, the U.S. was focused heavily on its westward expansion. Essentially, America didn't need territory across the Atlantic in Africa when it could expand and acquire vast territory in North America. The westward expansion of the United States took enormous financial, economic, and human resources. The decision to push the territory of the United States and to expand from the Atlantic to the Pacific Oceans was the main focus of the U.S. government in the late 19th century. There was no need for America to focus on colonizing Africa at this time. 4. America didn't have a territory in Africa initially. The U.S. didn't have a strong presence in Africa in the 19th century. European countries had been present in Africa since the 16th century. Countries such as Britain, France, Spain, and Portugal had established trading posts and held small territories on the coast of Africa. This meant when the colonization of Africa's interior began from the 1880s onwards, these countries were able to expand on the possessions they already held. America held almost no territory in Africa in the late 19th century. 
The only land connected to America was Liberia, a small nation established on the west coast of the continent. Liberia was set up by the American Colonization Society, a private group of American citizens, in 1847, as a land for freed slaves to return to Africa. Although founded by Americans, it was not established by the U.S. government and was an independent country from its beginning. The lack of U.S. territory at time of the continent's colonization was a key reason why the U.S. did not obtain lands in Africa. America had little claim to African lands and had no history of having a presence on the continent. 5. American Civil War and Cost of Reconstruction A key reason why the United States did not establish colonies in Africa when European countries did was because of the American Civil War. The American Civil War was fought from 1861, 1865. It was devastating. 620,000 Americans were killed in the war. $5.2 billion worth of damage was caused as armies from the Southern Confederacy battled Union forces across the country. The enormous cost of the Civil War, in both lives and resources, meant that America was less inclined to dedicate finances and manpower to overseas colonization. Following the Union victory in the Civil War, a policy known as Reconstruction was enacted across the southern United States. Reconstruction not only involved rebuilding from the damage of the war, but also reconfiguring the southern economy away from slavery. The Union continued to station troops in the South until 1877. Reconstruction was enormously expensive and resource-intensive. It lasted from the end of the Civil War until Union troops left the South. As the full colonization of Africa began from the 1880s, America was still recovering after the Civil War. This is an important reason why the United States didn't join European countries in establishing colonies in Africa. 6. America's Lack of Naval Power Following the American Civil War, the U.S. Navy fell into decline. Although the U.S. pioneered breakthrough technology in ironclad warships, by the 1870s all Civil War-era ironclads had been retired and the U.S. Navy had failed to commission replacements. This meant that when the scramble for Africa began in haste in the 1880s, America lacked the naval power needed to engage fully. In order for America to successfully colonize Africa, it would have needed extensive naval power. This is because it would have had to protect the sea lanes across the North Atlantic to ensure a connection to its colonies. At the time many European countries were taking African colonies, America lacked the naval power to do this. By 1882 the U.S. had realized its strategic error in failing to modernize its navy and the U.S. government commissioned new modern warships. However, this meant America did not have the sea power required to establish and protect African colonies during the height of colonization. 7. America focused on the Western Hemisphere. In 1823, the United States adopted the Monroe Doctrine. This was an announcement made by U.S. President James Monroe that said the United States would not accept European interference in the Western Hemisphere. Essentially, it committed the U.S. to ensuring the Americas were free from external influence. However, it also, tacitly, meant that the U.S. aimed to dominate the region. With a U.S. focus on North and South America, there was little interest in establishing colonies in Africa. From the 1850s, the Monroe Doctrine became a cornerstone of American foreign policy. However, another reason why the U.S. did not take colonies in Africa is that there was a risk of hypocrisy in preventing outside interference in Americas whilst actively involving itself in other regions. The Monroe Doctrine was firmly anti-colonial. If the U.S. established colonies in Africa, it would weaken America's position in preventing other countries from establishing colonies in the Western Hemisphere. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below. If you learned something or the video was interesting, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, watch these other videos that have appeared on your screen by simply tapping on them, I promise you are going to like them because they are equally interesting.